guys, Tech Hammer here, and um, I'm gonna bring you another tutorial. Sorry I didn't put a video last time, but uh, I lost track of time and I had stuff to do, so I couldn't. Uh, but this time I'm gonna do another tutorial, and then I'm gonna keep doing videos from now. Um, also, I've been kind of running out of ideas on videos to make, so if you want to learn something or you want me to post a video about something, just message me and I'll see what I'll do and I'll probably make a video of that. So um, today I'm going to show you how to do um, kind of like stroke lines. Uh, they look pretty cool and uh, I used it in my background to my channel as you can see. These little stroke lines that go like swirls. And uh, they're pretty cool and they make your background look a lot better. So first what you want to do is open Photoshop. See my opening. All right, and then file, new, and yeah, twelve eighty by seven twenty is the one I always use. Pick whatever you use, I guess. So then click OK. Now we have it open. And so there you have it. Okay, so first, what we're going to use is pen tool. And I already made a video on how to maneuver the pen tool better. So if you saw that video, then this should be easier. If you haven't, then check it out, and then this should be easier. So you just start one, then click another one, go up, click another one, go down, click another one, go up, click another one, go down. It doesn't really matter. And then do whatever swirls you want. Okay, and then once you're done, make sure you have it on a blank layer. You wouldn't want to have it on some layer so that if you want to delete it, you'd have to delete everything on that layer. So just put it on its own layer, it'll help you. Right click, and then instead of fill path, we're going to do stroke path. And when you click stroke path, this little box comes up and it already it'll already be at brush and leave it there now it already come with simulate pressure unchecked if you leave it unchecked and click OK it'll look as if you just grabbed the brush tool and went in those certain direct the little swirl effect but that wouldn't look as good if, unless you want it that way so what we're gonna do is undo right click stroke path and put simulate pressure and what this will do is it'll make it look like at the edges it's very thin, but at the at the middle part is where it gets thick. So when you click OK, look how it goes small and then gets bigger, 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 and then goes back to small. So don't forget to delete path. And once you delete the path, then it's this little effect and it looks pretty cool. And you can maneuver it with the pen tool however you want it, and then you just do that. And then once that's done you can change it however you want you could turn it around like I did on my background click enter and it'll stay you can do whatever you want and uh, yeah it'll just work for you and so yeah that's how you do stroke lines and stuff uh, if, remember if you have any uh, video ideas you want me to make then just message me and uh, don't forget to comment because I like feedback I like knowing that people watch my videos and they uh, learn from it if you learn something from this video or any other video, like them. I mean, it's just a click of a button, which is the same same goes for uh, subscribe. Just one click of a button and you're done. You subscribe and you're you're good. So just do that. And yeah, thanks for watching my video. Uh, and uh, bring you one next week. Uh, Tech gamer.